Okay, this is a short video I'm going to do here on YouTube um, outlining how I uh, mark my uh, Glock magazines. Um, if you're like me, you're cheap or just poor and can't afford more than one weapon at a time. Um, so what I did is I, uh, I had bought a Glock 23 in 40 Smith and... Uh, I purchased a uh, Lone Wolf stainless steel conversion barrel for 9mm Luger and I bought some Glock 19 magazines in 9mm so that the uh, rounds would feed better. Um, I did find the 9mm rounds will feed pretty well with the 40 magazine um, but the uh, 40s do not feed at all from a nine millimeter magazine there's interference on the lip of the magazine so anyway uh i had originally wanted to use the uh sharpie silver metallic marker and uh i found out that that did not really work well um, it smeared and did not show up very well after cleaning up the excess so I instead opted for Duplicolor Hot Tires Tire Paint in white for 9mm and uh, Markall Laco uh, Valve Action Paint Marker in yellow for the 40s and they show up pretty well on the 40 and the 9 and uh, you can see that the uh, capacity markers stand out really well and the uh, caliber stands out really well. The uh, Glock and Austria logo, I just did that for looks I suppose. But uh, in low light situations that'll help you. I know that it, uh, it helps me, my eyes aren't that great, especially at night without my glasses. So. That, uh, that's why I went with these color choices. What you're gonna need is a little bit of acetone or paint thinner. I'm using um, Western brand economy thinner. Any kind of uh, thinner or reducer or acetone will work. Um, alcohol might work, I don't know. Uh, you can try it, but I wouldn't recommend it. You're gonna need some paper towels. You're going to need some Q-tips for cleaning out the uh, impressions in the magazine. As you can see here, I'll put a, a brand new 9mm next to one that I've marked. And you can definitely, you know, you, the, the markings just stand out better. So it'll be easier to tell what caliber magazine you're grabbing and uh, how many rounds you've got in the magazine at a quicker glance in the in a low light situation and even in you know just in your range bag uh, so what you do is take a q-tip clean q-tip dip it in your acetone or in my case paint thinner and just go over the grooves real light like so and then uh, dry them off uh, got some canned air here for blowing out the grooves getting them nice and dry or you can just let them sit paint thinner acetone um, reducer that stuff evaporates pretty quick um, like I said I went with uh, two different colors for two different calibers and now I'll show you how to mark them what I did was I just dab paint into the impressions on the magazine I'm just going to do a couple here. 
Oop. Yeah, I'll do a couple more. Now it's your choice. You can uh, you can let it sit and dry, or if you're like me, you want to get that uh, excess off of there as rapidly as possible. So take a paper towel that's dipped in in your reducer. Get a little bit more reducer on there and wipe off your excess and there you have it much nicer in low light situations easier to read if your eyes are bad and differentiates between your magazines have a great day